to my friends from preschool and pre-K and say I miss you. I miss our times of chapel together on Wednesday mornings right here in this space. And I was wondering if you would have chapel with me today right now. And if you will, let's settle in. We're going to light our candle and start with our breathing, hear our story, pray our prayer, and sing another song together. Ready to breathe? Deep breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Friends, I want to read a story to you today. I'm going to come closer so you can see the pictures. This is a story we might have read before, but it's called The Captain of the Storm. The Captain of the Storm. Here it goes. Here's the, the book. It's from the Jesus Storybook Bible. One of my favorites by Sally Lloyd-Jones. And here is the first page of the story. The sun was going down. The air was warm and still. Let's go across the lake, Jesus said to his friends. Jesus had been helping people all day, and now he was tired. So they left the crowds at the shore and set out in a small fishing boat. Jesus climbed into the boat to take a nap. As soon as his head touched the pillow, he fell fast asleep. It was a beautiful evening. A gentle breeze rustled through the sails. The friends were chatting happily as they headed out into the middle of the lake. Everything was perfect, just right for a nice, quiet sail. They were only about halfway across when out of nowhere, whirling winds swept across the lake, fierce and strong, like a hurricane. A blinding flash of lightning lit up the sky. Thunder roared right overhead. The storm blew the water into towering waves that hurled the little boat up, 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 and then sent it hurtling, crashing back down, down, down. See the little boat up here now? Way up on those giant waves. The fishing boat was blown and buffeted and tossed and turned back and forth, up and down, left and right, round and round. And in the middle of the storm, Jesus was sleeping. Now, Jesus' friends had been fishermen all their lives, but in all their years fishing on this lake, they had never seen a storm like this one. No matter how hard they struggled with their ropes and sails, they couldn't control their boat the storm was too big for them. But the storm wasn't too big for Jesus. Help, they screamed. Wake up. Quick, Jesus. Jesus opened his eyes. Rescue us. Save us. 
They shrieked, don't you care? Of course Jesus cared. And this was the very reason he had come, to rescue them and to save them. Jesus stood up and spoke to the storm. Hush, he said. That's all. And the strangest thing happened. See, there's the storm. The boat is just getting thrown all over. And there's Jesus sleeping. But Jesus wakes up and says, hush, and the strangest thing happens. The wind and waves recognize Jesus' voice. They had heard it before, of course. It was the same voice that made them in the very beginning. They listened to Jesus and they did what he said. Immediately the wind stopped, the water calmed down. It glittered innocently in the moonlight and lapped quietly against the side of the boat as if nothing had happened. The little boat bobbed gently up and down. There was a deep stillness and a quiet all around. Then Jesus turned to his wind-torn friends. Why were you scared, he said. Did you forget who I, I am? Did you believe your fears instead of me? Jesus' friends were quiet, as quiet as the wind and the waves, and into their hearts came a different kind of storm, confusion, questions. What kind of person is this? They asked themselves anxiously, even the winds and the waves obey him, they said, because they didn't understand. They didn't realize yet that Jesus was God's son. Jesus' friends had been so afraid they had only seen the big waves. They had forgotten that if Jesus was with them, they had nothing to be afraid of, no matter how small their boat was or how big the storm. the end for now. Friends, I hope from our story today that we remember that no matter how scared we can get sometimes or how lonely we can be, that remembering that Jesus was in the boat with his friends even when it was stormy can remind us that God is always with us that God's love is constant for us. It never changes. God never gives up on us. God never leaves us alone. I hope you'll remember that all the time. Amen. Now let's put our hands in our laps and prepare to breathe again. This first breath, let's pretend like we're breathing in God's love. Deep breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And now let's pray. God be in my head. God be in my heart. God be in my whole life. God be in my head. God be in my heart. God be in my whole life. God be in my head. God be in my heart. God be in my whole life. Amen. Friends, it's been so special to be able to have chapel with you today. I hope whenever you get lonely and miss your friends at Grace that you can watch this video and that you can remember to pray, to breathe, to sing, to remember God is always with us. Amen. Amen. Let's sing our closing song. Go now in peace, go now in peace, may the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. go now in peace. Go now in peace.
every 